Hello there, all electronic enthusiasts should be familiar with this blue board. Yes, the Arduino Uno is probably one of the most iconic microcontroller boards for makers. I am using this board for the last 5 years. I loved the Arduino Uno, but I felt it was missing some features. The first thing is when working with multiple sensors simultaneously, there are not enough power pins to connect the sensors because Arduino has only one 5V pin and one 3.3V pin. Next is the bulky type B USB port because nowadays no one loves this connector. Next I don't like the main power socket. Finally we can connect female header pins to Arduino Uno. From all the mentioned problems I decided to make my own version of Arduino. And here you can see my custom Arduino board. You can see I replaced the USB B port with micro USB. And this board can be powered over micro USB or screw terminal. Also we can see both male and female header pins. So we can connect both male and female pins to Arduino. On the opposite side my Arduino has 4 5V pins, 4 3.3V pins and 4 ground pins. So we can connect lot of sensors simultaneously. My custom Arduino board is smaller than the traditional Arduino and the best of all it is still cheaper than the Arduino. So in this video I am going to show you how I designed and made my custom Arduino. If you wanna know, watch the video. Let's get started this video. Let's start with the circuit designing. I designed the circuit diagram using ECEDA. Then I converted the diagram into PCB. After arranging everything, I downloaded the Gerber files for fabrication. Then I chose PCB Bay for PCB fabrication because they offer 10 PCBs for just $5. To order PCB, click on Quick Order PCB and select the Gerber file. Now we can choose different options like layer thickness, silk screen color, etc. After selecting the shipping method, I placed the order. After one week, I received the PCBs. This is the PCBs and the quality of the PCBs are perfect. After grabbing all the components, I started soldering. First I soldered the main IC, then the CH340. After completing all SMD components, then I started soldering the through hole components. I completed the soldering after 1 hour and the finished PCB looks like this. Then I connected the board SPI pins to another Arduino to bend the bootloader because this chip comes without the bootloader. After burning the bootloader, I removed the SPA connections. And then I connected the USB cable to custom Arduino and computer. Now I opened the blink code and changed the delay to 100 millisecond. And I choose the correct communication port and the board. I uploaded the code. Now you can see the onboard LED is blinking with a delay of 100 millisecond. So this is how I made my own Arduino. You can download the circuit and Gerber file from my blog. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. All up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.